I'm Greg McHale from the Wild Yukon, and today what we're going to talk about is tripods and the speed at which you can use them versus, say, a bipod. One of the questions that we get every now and again is, should I leave my bipod behind in the mountains if I've got a great tripod, and is that enough out there? So the quick answer to that for me is yes. I do tend to carry a bipod, but in the last year of using a quality tripod, like the really right stuff, I haven't found a place that I needed a bipod versus the tripod. I'm really contemplating next year not taking it. Now the question is, how quickly is it to set up? Because obviously you've got a bipod and it's attached to your rifle, so it's just two legs, quick, boom, boom, it's out and it's up. Yes, it's fast. The other thing about it is I've found over five years producing television show and hunting in the mountains all over the Yukon, probably been on 50 different hunts over the past five years where I personally been using, you know, a tripod and a bipod and I just haven't found the scenario where I've had to set up so quickly and take a shot that I had no time to put a tripod on and do it that way. So I think a big part of the problem in this question is, do you have the ability to calm down, take a really good assessment of the situation, where the animal is, what's the best way to get there, and how do I take the shot from the proper place? Because we have not missed, and this isn't me trying to say that we're so good, it's just we as a team, we we often just pull back and go, what is the best case scenario to make the most ethical shot from the best vantage point that we can? And that's, I think, the key here. Last year was my first year fully of using a tripod on almost all of my shots. The big thing there was just taking the time and setting up properly. And when you do that, you set up properly, you have the ability to set your tripod up in a place that you are going to get a great shot. And rather than take a shot that is pretty good, you put your gun on a tripod and now you're taking a shot that is super stable and it's excellent. It's not just pretty good, it becomes excellent. Even in a prone shooting scenario. So like last year, I took a doll sheep on a downhill slope with the tripod, which most people would think, wow, that's almost impossible to do. But well, with a good tripod, it's not, because the Ascent tripod with some really right stuff made that possible. And the biggest thing about that is stepping back and finding a place that is a great shooting platform, and that's 101. Getting your body, getting your weapon, and your tripod in the most stable, comfortable position that you can find, and then taking the shot slowly and making sure that it counts. And as far as hunting goes, that's, that's really the key to success when it comes to really finishing it off. So as far as having the tripod on your weapon and moving around, it's, people would say, you know, it's big and it's maybe it's cumbersome and how would you actually do that? But I found that moving, picking it up and repositioning with the tripod attached to the weapon has been no problem. In fact, this past year, we were hunting moose late season, I had to go downhill and to get a shot across toward these moose. And there was, I think there was probably seven or eight moose in that group and we were just getting too close and it just didn't feel right because we couldn't see them all. The willows were high, you know, a lot of snow. And I really, I had to make a decision. Do we go get close, even closer and run the risk of spooking a cow and then she takes all of the moose off and, and the hunt is over or the hunt continues. But in this situation, I was able to reposition and all I did was just fold up the tripod, put it over my shoulder and just reposition and it was very easy. Now we got into another spot which was ultimately probably the only spot. Still I had to get up over top of willow and up out of deep snow. And if what I was using was a bipod it would have been impossible to do. There was a bunch of you know pine trees around and I could have got into a tree and had a stable enough or somewhat off of the tree branch but I still would have had to break a bunch of branches to do it. And now the potential for spooking the moose is there and the hunt, you know, the hunt 
And having the ability to move with the tripod on, set up in the deep snow, I was able to take a long shot, far longer shot than I ever would have done offhand or on the crotch of a tree. So we made the shot, we ended the season with a great moose, and without the tripod, I don't even know what we would have done. We would have improvised, we would have figured it out, the hunt would have continued, we, you know, there could have been any number of scenarios, but in this case, the tripod was the key piece of equipment that allowed me to take that shot and you know, ultimately we got ourselves a great one. Those are the kind of things that, uh, that a, you know, really a tripod brings to the table that a bipod doesn't. So if you've never tried a tripod on your weapon, give it a go, see what you think, let me know because hopefully you get yourself a good quality tripod and it might save you a pound or so of weight from the bipod that you used to throw in your pack.